surrounded by the millions and millions. Here are the 10 reasons why WWE is failing. Currently, there are only wrestlers in WWE, but fan wants characters. In the attitude, the invasion, and ruthless aggression era, we saw wrestlers who had distinct personalities which attracted the attention. Undertaker, Stone Cold, The Rock, Shawn Michaels, Kane, The Big Show, Mankind, Hulk Hogan, Triple H, Bret, The Hitman Heart. As The Undertaker, Triple H, Big Show and Kane reached the twilights of their career and with the departure of John Cena and Dave Bautista, the last superstars, no new superstars have evolved. There is a sameness in the total roster of WWE. Groomed hair, designer clothes, with exception of few. There is complete lack of intimidation. Even Omos is not scary. All the blings and suits downplayed his massive size. Roman Reigns in track suits intimidating others. WWE are in the wrong impression that Roman Reigns can be or have the same aura of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. All he can say is, You look at me, apologize. Acknowledge me. Well, acknowledge me. Rock would have said, You take that camera and shut it up your eyes. And then what you do, you give it to your big buddy. Kevin Owens, the baby-faced bear calling out Stone Cold, the man who stinks of testosterone and beer. The fight was the most funniest thing on WWE. WWE fans don't want wrestlers they can relate with. They want to see people who are larger than life, capable of doing things they wouldn't even imagine to do. Previously, there used to be gangs tormenting the roster, provoking the crowd, making them more involved in the storyline. The Judgment Day grew Group headed by Dominic Mysterio is a total joke, except Rhea Ripley. She is great. No one will take seriously the skinny pit Imperium Nazi wannabe. The bloodline is trying to reap the fruits of the rock, Rikishi, and Umaga, but just because you are family doesn't mean you have it in your blood. These groups are nowhere, I mean, not even teeny tiny bit close to the Heart Foundation, Degeneration X, Evolution, or NWO, who could take over W. WWE by force. During the golden age, all the wrestlers had shades of grey personalities. Everyone had the traits of mischievousness, so anyone could fit in both categories. It was convenient to change the storyline as per their need, also brought the surprise element. Like Stone Cold from the beginning of the time hated Vince McMahon, and The Rock was their man. Then all of a sudden, Stone Cold changed his alliance. Backstabbing was very common in the heydays. Fan loved the uncertainty. WWE is staged, we all know that. It was an open secret, but it meant WWE wrestlers used to be in character all the time, even when they are not performing. As the legend goes, Macho Man used to be Macho Man 24-7, and the wrestlers beating the shit out of the presenters and the reporters who called them fake were the sweet things of the past. So the myth and characters lived even off camera, which resulted in increase in fan following. Now, WWE is not even taken seriously and treated no differently than other reality shows. Mixed martial art is the big thing now. Some of the wrestlers like Batista, Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley went to the other side to prove their metal. So news of WWE merging with UFC does not come as a surprise. WWE moving to PG rating is the worst thing that happened. It meant toning down the storylines and action to be more inclusive. Maybe it was a move to change the company's image or to create more viewership, but WWE forgot who their main viewers are. People who love the dangerous stuff, busted face blood. You can say all these are not good for children to watch. I'll say why would you let your children watch violence in first place? It's like choosing to watch boxing with headgear on over professional boxing which Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson did. Having WWE champion and world heavyweight champion in Raw and Smackdown meant more competition. Merging of these two titles made no sense. This meant new wrestlers got less opportunity to make name for themselves. This resulted in creating a pseudo championship title like WWE Universal Championship but in reality it had no value. At WrestleMania 38, Roman Reigns defeated Brock Lesnar 
and became the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Since then, Roman Reigns has been hugging the belts like his life depended on it. With fewer title matches, the competition became boring. Finally, WWE came to its senses. After all these years, they have reintroduced the World Heavyweight Championship. WWE is seriously lacking good storyline and rivalries. Hulk Hogan vs. Andre the Giant, Undertaker vs. Kane, Shawn Michael vs. Hitman, The Rock vs. Triple H, Stone Cold vs. The Rock, Stone Cold vs. The Hitman, Stone Cold vs. Vince McMahon. Stone Cold had problem with everybody. Roman Reigns feud with Kevin Wayne's excites no one. Worst thing was that John Cena, who was the crowd puller, could not find where the opponents in latter years. Hence the championship changed hands between Cena and Randy Orton many times, the show became monotonous. Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks promoted and held an independent professional wrestling event called the Wall In, featuring wrestlers from ROH as well as other promotions. The event was attended by 11,263 people, the largest audience in attendance for a professional wrestling show in the United States, not affiliated with WWE or WCW since 1993. Thus, AEW was formed luring some of the well-known wrestlers in the business and since then providing to be a worthy competitor of WWE. In the last 10 to 15 years, WWE, instead of investing and helping new wrestlers grow, from time and again brought back old famous wrestlers like The Rock and Goldberg to boost TRP. And they have been backing the wrong set of wrestlers and ignoring the good ones. What we are left with is Randy Orton, who is a pro but injured. Mysterio, who has lost his mojo. Brock Lesnar, who has been treated as the gatekeeper. Bobby Lashley, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre have not been given better storyline and championship opportunities. Gifted wrestlers like John Morrison faded away due to fewer opportunities and moved to boxing and succeeded. After many years, there seemed to be glimmer of hope for WWE. Return of Cody Rhodes to WWE is a big news. Before he left, he was literally nobody. He remained in the shadows of Dusty Rhodes and Gold Dust. He constantly changed his gimmicks to stay relevant. After he left WWE, he went out in the open circuit to prove himself. Cody Rhodes came back to WWE stronger, bigger, confident and most importantly with huge reputation. At Backlash, we witnessed an electrifying match between Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes. Few days later, Brock Lesnar took him out of World Heavyweight Championship competition. This is a new rivalry in the town which will keep both of them busy until hopefully Cody Rhodes will finally be fast tracked to becoming the new WWE Undisputed Champion and save WWE. He's the champion we need and want because everyone else is just in my way.